You can't practice hanky panky on the side. Mm -mm. The devil is going to call your bluff. You can't practice these kind of things. You have to walk and talk and live the life and, and amen, be bold and, and, and have authority and power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bold enough to march into the jars of hell. Look the devil in the eye and tell him he's a loser. Order him to get out and insist, amen, that he never take no and insist to him. I will never take no for an answer. This is my deliverance and I need it now. This is my son and I'm not leaving without him. This is my daughter and I'm taking her with me. This is the authority that we have in the earth. When we look at the fourth watch, it's the significance of this watch can be seen in Mark 1 and 35, where we see Jesus, amen, rising a great, rising a great while before day and finding a solitary place to pray. And so Jesus, oh, oftentimes, as we have seen in the demonstration of the text, oftentimes rise up, go into prayer prayer oftentimes rise up and go to pray amen praise in the name of the lord and it is so important children of the living god that we separate and we take some time as we said to pray this is a special time for divine judgment this is the last watch of the night this is the fourth watch and it's always important because this is the last lap of the night's race i want to dive into it this was when israel was released from egypt this watch amen is a fourth watch amen praise the name of the lord this is the fourth watch and this watch amen is a time that those satanic agents who went out to perform their activities are returning back to their base this is the time, and I'm going to dive deep into it. This is the time, children of the living God, as we said, they are returning back to their base. This is the time the devil and his cohorts are running back. Yes, they are. They are running back home, so they are not caught. What do you mean? We're going to go into it. This is a time, children of the living God, to release judgment upon the wicked who remain stiff naked after many warnings and rebuke according to Proverbs 29 and 1. This is the very time when the enemy chariots would have their wheels removed and their plans and their programs and policies will fail. This is the period to release the manifestation of the full intensity of the day spring shaking out of the wicked. Yes, this is before and proclaiming before morning. This is the time. This is the authority. Amen. In which we have children of the living God, the three to six a.m. prior, which is the fourth watch or the final night, watch of the night, as we said. Amen. This particular watch, it is where you will experience the most heightened amount of satanic and supernatural activity. The 12 o'clock watch is stopped, but this watch is 3 to, to 6 o'clock watch. Watch this, and we're going to dive into it. This is the watch that is also known as the witching hour. The witching hour, or the devil's hour. Mm -hmm. The witching hour. Spiritual beings such as demon, or some people may call it ghost, or, or fallen angels, are thought to appear and be most visible during this time. Because the veil in the spiritual realm is thinner during the hour of three and four. Watch this. I'm going to break down this third hour because this it, it, you, you have to catch this. Between three and four. Yeah. It is very important that those who have been assigned to pray, those who are assigned to this watch, you, I want you to, I want you to hear me very clearly. Those who are assigned to this watch, I want you to understand. Amen. The activity that is happening at this time. And so you're able to, to take your, your position to pray. This is a time in which deep sleep fall upon men and there's less praying going forth. Just like from the 12 to 3 watch, less prayer going forth. The, strip, the scripture tells us that while men slept, the enemy came in and saw tears among the wheat and went his way. This is also the time of the night when Jesus' disciples were out, amen, on the water toiling and thought they saw a ghost remember yes they were toiling and they thought they saw a ghost amen praise the name of the lord according to mark 6 45 and and 51 and immediately saw his disciples get into a boat and go before him to the other side the bible said to Bethsaida. and while he sent his disciples away and when he had sent them away he departed to the mountain to pray and when evening came the boat was in the middle of the sea Mm -hmm. The boat was in the middle of the sea when evening came and he was alone on the land. That's what the Bible said. Then he saw them straining and roaring for the wind was against them. Now about the fourth watch of the night, 
Watch this. This is in the fourth watch. This was happening. He came to them walking on the sea and would have passed them by. And when he saw, and when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed it was a ghost. And they cried out for all they saw him. They were troubled. But immediately, the Bible said, he talked with them and he said to them, be of good cheer and be, be not afraid. Then he walked, he went up to the, to the boat to them and the wind ceased. And they were greatly amazed to themselves beyond measured and they marveled. When you look at this watch, during this prior watch, those who are involved in witchcraft, the occult, new age, and satanic worship are usually performing their activities through astral projection. What is astral projection? Astral projection is a word, amen. Astral projection is described then as an internal out of body experience mm -hmm, that assumes the existence of a soul or consciousness called astral body. This astral body is separate from the physical body and is capable of traveling outside of the body through the spirit realm. This is a forbidden practice by God and is done through the help of demonic powers and entities. And there are people who, who operate, and children of the Lord, hear me now. There are people who operate, and, and they, they, they said they are prophets, watch this, who operate through astral projection. That some can tell you, I, I, I've gone to your workplace and you have a painting on the wall to the left and in your office has this and your social security number is this. God is not interested in that. And when you make a bend, then you go, a lot of, they operate by astral projections. They operate through demonic, amen, entities. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and I know you're going to be surprised by this. Yes, it happens. Praise the name of the Lord. Satanic activity is heightened at this time. Those who practice this form of divination and satanic worship must be back in their bodies before the breaking of dawn. It is during the three to six o'clock prior watch of the night that they are returning back to their base or back to their bodies. It is during this time that these workers of darkness are returning back home. And so they are not, so that they are not caught outside of their physical body. So they're trying to get back to them, to their base. And although the night watch fall between 6, amen, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., that's a total, amen, of the night watch between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., the most intense battle is felt in the final or fourth watch of the night between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. This is the time before dawn break and the shaking begins. It is especially between the 12 to 3 a.m. watch that we covered last week that the workers of the kingdom of darkness heighten their satanic activity. This is when the orders and the decree have been given. And so when you're going to warfare prayer, you have to pray against the decree. You have to pray against the order. You have to pray against the assignment. Amen. We are talking about, and, and I'm calling up intercessors tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. You have to pray that the, that the order be overturned. And that the assignment be cancelled because they are given assignment and they're coming, amen, to carry out their assignment between three and six o'clock. The witching hour now is between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. It is known as the witching hour. It is during this hour, children of the Lord, that people are more likely to see demon or to sense a heavy presence of spiritual being. It is right before the breaking of dawn. Uh, around 5 a.m. and the workers of darkness cease their activity between this time before the day spring or the breaking of dawn come forth to shake out the wicked. Amen. Because the, the, the enemy can't deal with the daybreak. Praise the name of the Lord because that shake them out. And so they're trying to get back to base before this happened. Uh, children of the Lord, testimonies of former witches, amen, who have been converted to Christianity have tell of their experience when they have this out of body, amen, experience and out of body witchcraft assignment through astral projection. And they had to return to their bodies before 6 a.m. Otherwise, they would not be able to get back. Yes, this is because they would have been shaken out of dawn. Dawn like according to the book of Job. Job speak about it. Ecclesiastics talk about the silver cord of life that, that snap. And you will hear witches and the new age practitioners speak about the card that they practice astral projection. I remember one time we cast out a demon out of a young man. And when he came to light, Bishop, he said to us, he said that 
when he when he, he 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 went to the sea and because he was dealing with marine spirit uh, spirit of the marine spirit of the sea amen that that, that operate and we're going to go into it and when we cast the demon out and while we were he's just saying i need water jugs and water gallon jugs of water he's just drinking i need water i need water so much so that he got away from us bishop and dive off in the baptism pool he just need what he need what. And when we cast this demon out of him, we understand that he was on the sea. And he make marks and, 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 and we, 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 we know about types and shadow and we know about imaging. And he made some image and they told him, gave him a book and tell him what to read and what to chant. And he said the moment he did that, he cannot remember a lot of things, but he's having out of body experience where he will go places. Bishop, to the point where this guy, if you give him anything to fix, any electronic stuff to fix, he will fix it, anything at all. He's very good. And the minute we cast the demon out of him, he don't know how to fix anything else. Because it was the demon that was in him and that was operating by, was giving him the ability to do this. He had tons of things that he collect from people to repair. And when the demon cast out of him, he had to return because he don't know what to do. I'm not telling you about Hanky Panky story. I'm telling you about high-con spiritual warfare. I hope you're ready for this tonight. Amen. Because this is where we are going. And so that is why the enemy was attacking. You don't want me to, amen, break this down to you. Uh, Ecclesiastic 6, 12 and verse 6 said, Yes, remember your creator now while you're young. Before the silver card snap. Yes. And the golden bowl is broken. Don't wait until the water jar is smashed at the spring. Amen. And the pool is broken at the well. Job 38 said, and have you ever ordered morning? Get up and order your morning. Told Dan, get to work so you could seize the earth like a blanket and shake out the wicked like cockroaches. And the sun bring everything to light. Bring out the colors and shape and cover the darkness of snatch from the wicked as they are caught in their very act. What to pray for during, the, during this watch? We are praying that the blessing of the Lord be released. But this uh, intense uh, spiritual warfare. It's a, uh, you're, you're praying against witches and against occult spirits. You're praying up for divine favor and blessing, revival and restoration and resurrection life. You're praying for rest from the cares of life against the work of darkness. Praise in the name of the Lord. So when you look at this watch, it, 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 it is spiritual uh, warfare. In, in, in this prayer watch, children of the Lord, we engage in intense spiritual warfare. We must be persistent, relentless for our blessing to be released. It is during this watch that Jacob wrestled with, 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 with God all night with the angels. As we know, he wrestled and said, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. And Jacob won the fight and, God, and found favor with God and with man during this watch. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know this story of the wrestling with God. What, what do you mean? What do you mean that, that, that he wrestled with God? Amen. To wrestle in this context means uh, to float away or vapor or, 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 or to grapple. Amen. It, it, it's a close fight without weapon. It's a wrestling. It's a, it, it's a light uh, or particles, you know. But it, it, it's a wrestling that, we, that, that, J, that he was having because he needed something. And the angels were ascending. So I want you to understand that just like demonic spell and witches are carrying out their activity, the Lord is fighting on our behalf. Angels of heaven is fighting for you. Angels of heaven is defending you on every side. Amen, children of the living God. So you're never alone. And so this, it's an intense spiritual warfare that happened during this watch. Amen. During the fourth watch of the night, we rest for our lives. There may be times when, when you wake up in the morning and you find that you're more tired. Have you ever experienced it? You find that you're more tired than when you went to sleep. You, you, you had a wrestling going on. You had a vision that you're, you're in a spiritual war and you wake up and your body's so tired because you wrestled all night. And you said, man, I had a vision. No, your spirit was fighting. Amen. While the flesh was resting, your spirit, the Holy Ghost power in you, mighty God from Zion, the Holy Ghost tell, amen, the anointing because the 
Holy Ghost never start a fight. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The Holy Ghost power in you, they take the fight and the anointing in you, mighty God from Zion, will destroy the you. The spirit man, amen, was fighting on your behalf. And so that's why when you wake up, amen, you feel this wrestled. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is when we are in our deepest sleep, but we war in the spirit. Amen. So we have to pray for God, divine favor and protection. Amen. As we engage in spiritual warfare and as we go to sleep, praise the name of the Lord. And that is why it is important that we have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because this is not a flesh and blood war. This is not a, a battle that you can see. And so we need the Holy Ghost power. It is during this watch that we pray that God will throw the enemy into confusion. Hallelujah to God. What you pray? Pray that the Lord will throw the enemy into confusion and preventing him from pursuing you. Amen. You'll usually find that women who are, who are physically abused, who are in abusive relationship, Bishop. Um, it is during this time that they try to leave their abuser because their abuser is in a deep sleep. And just before morning break, that they say, let me try go before five o'clock. It's during between this three to six o'clock. What? That women try to leave who are in abusive relationship as studies have shown. Pray that God will give you wisdom for the battle to defeat the enemy. And this type of warfare, amen, is during the night season called a physical drain to the body. Cause a physical drain as we sleep, but our spirit man is well equipped as we are fully dressed in the arm of God. So while you are sleeping, your spiritual man is fully quick. Why? Because our fight is not against spiritual wickedness. Our fight is not against people on earth, but our fight is against rulers, amen, and authorities and power, amen, of darkness. So we have to pray against witchcraft and the occult spirit. What is this? Prior after midnight until the breaking of dawn require tremendous warfare against powers of darkness, witchcraft, and the occult spirit. And some of the most intense warfare has occurred between these hours as well as a breakthrough and access into the, the dark places to free captives. During both the third watch, which is the 12 to 3 o'clock watch, and the fourth watch, which is 3 to 6 a.m., known as the witching hour, the devil hour, it, be, it, it is typically between 12 and 4 that is associated with supernatural events, whereby witches and demons are taught to appear and be at their most powerful. Look, let's look what Mark said. Mark 6 and verse 45 and 51 said, immediately after he made his disciple get into the boat and go on the other side to Bethsaida, and we read it and we look, and he departed to the mountain to pray. Now, when evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone on the land, as we see, and they were straining. And because of the fourth watch, they said, oh, man, this must be a ghost. Why would they think so? It's because of the time of the night. Yeah, it's because of the time of the night that they thought this was, this was what was going on. And so this is also the time of the night where most people with prophetic giftings are called to pray. It is not a watch that we should enter into without prayer and God's anointing on our life because it's a very heavy watch. It is a very different type of watch from the other watch and should not be taken lightly. I have had people ask, amen, a lot of times, you know, what is the time that I should pray? What do you think is my watch? People ask, what time you think is the best time that, that, I, that, that I should go and do this watch? And some folks said, I want to pray at this time. But let me tell you something. You don't do this kind of watch by, uh, you know, I'm staying up and drinking coffee so I can stay awake or I'm, I'm taking stuff because I want to pray at this time. And, you know, I'm doing all kind of stuff to stay uh, awake. You, 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 the Lord know your watch and the time when you're waking up, you find yourself getting up. It may be in the day that you find at six, I just have to stop and pray. Certain time you have to pray. That is your watch because your watch, you must go by the leading and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the watch in which witchcraft spells and curses are being sent out, especially over the church. It is through prophetic and strategic prayer of the word of God that can help bind up and hinder the work of darkness from prevailing. And so then it is very important that we inquire from the Lord Amen. If this is your assigned watch and typically, amen, you will have no real problem staying up. If this is your watch, you don't have to drink coffee and you don't have to try watch TV late or do something and talk on the phone until your watch. No, amen. Because God has his watchman praying, amen, and covering our spirit. God always have a man on the watch, amen, at a certain time. Children of the Lord, let me share an experience with you. My mother, um, some years ago, my mother had a stroke. And when she had the stroke, her left side was paralyzed. She was paralyzed from the entire left side and she was temporarily blind. In fact, my aunt that is online will testify that 
she was getting ready for work and the Lord just kept saying to her, go and spend the weekend with your sister. And she couldn't shake it, what the Lord is saying. And she packed her bags and she decided she's going to my mother who was alone uh, at the time. And when she went there to spend the weekend with her, this, that same Friday, she was going to stay the whole weekend and go back home. After that day, my mother had a seizure. The very time she went there to spend time with her, they're there talking everything. And she just starts seeing my mom had a seizure. Had she been there by herself, it, the story may have been different. And when she had the seizure, it sent it, it shut down her left side and she was paralyzed. When the entire left side, she wasn't able to see. She was temporarily blind. Amen. She was making little scribble and little writing on the right to see what she wants. She was in the hospital room. Amen. At that time, we were, I was just doing her glasses and the doctor said that glasses that you just uh, are getting, that will not be good anymore because her entire vision is messed up. They, they have to now give her progressive lens and everything that was going on. We went into prior and I remember particularly dealing with the prior watches. And I said, we are going to pray and we're going to believe the Lord. And Bishop, we went into this prayer watch that, that I am praying an hour at least within the hour because I said to the Lord that when she recover, not if, when she recover, because the doctors were saying, oh, she will walk and swing her left side based on the damage that happened. And I said, Lord, when she recover, let it be that she will have to tell people that she have a stroke. She had a stroke. No one should look at her and know that she had a stroke because she will be recovered a hundred percent. And that was our prayer going into the watch. Brethren, we prayed and we believe God. And I remember when, 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 when my aunts will visit and they have the phone and speak, I said, mom, tell me what you're feeling. And she said, my left side is, is dead. And I said, mom, we are believing the Lord and we'll pray. And when we pray, she said, I feel a tingling in my toe. My God from Zion, you don't hear me. And we pray and we believe the Lord. And she said, I feel a tingling man and she can't see. But I said, your sight is coming back. Brethren, we believe the Lord as a family. We prayed and we trust God. And she recover a hundred percent. They told us that she will have to do extensive rehabilitation in order to learn to walk. Can I tell you that she did none? But the Holy Ghost power did the Lord who is able to heal and deliver, that she don't walk with a limb, that she don't walk and throw herself. She has to, she have to tell somebody she have a stroke. That is the power that the Lord, amen, that the Lord has. And the power when you stand in the gap and you pray and you declare and you decree something, you have power, children of the living God. Oh, amen. Because you have power through the Lord Jesus Christ, not by yourself, through God. Amen. Praise in the name of the Lord. And so when we look at this watch, we understand that the wicked hate light. And so that is why we have to let our light shine. This is the fourth watch of the night. Praise in the name of the Lord. And I'll, and I'll run on. The fourth watch of the night. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Fourth watch. This is the, 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 the hour which we, we are going in. This is the hour, praise in the name of the Lord, which we are war. It, it's a warfare watch. And I hope you understand, amen, that you're dealing with all kind of spiritual machination. This is where we talk about uh, the marine spirit and we talk about astrologicals and, and we talk about, amen, glory be to God. And some of you like to read your horoscope. Hey, watch out for that spirit. Mighty God from Zion, that horoscope is trying to tell you your future. You know your future already. My God from Zion, your future is hidden in Christ. Mighty God from Zion, that's what your future is. Amen. Above all that, you prosper and being good health, even as your soul prosper. My God, we know our future. Beloved, beloved, know are we the son of God. And it has not yet appeared what, what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him and we shall see him as he is. Don't let no palm reader tell you your future. My God from Zion, we don't go to palm readers. We don't read horoscope to see if the horoscope if the stars align with, with, with what? Amen. Glory be to God. Christians talking about, uh, I release this in the universe and the universe is saying this. Come on, man. Come on here. Amen. Glory be to God. We operate by the spirit of the Lord. Amen. And anything outside the spirit of God is witchcraft. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful how you speak. Be careful what you utter. My God, anything outside of the Holy Ghost and the practice of God, it's witchcraft. It's divination. Hear me, children of the living God. And we've got to be careful 
careful. We have got to be careful. Amen. For life and death is in the power of the tongue. We got to be careful. Amen. Glory to God. The things we say. Uh, hallelujah to God. And we get up every morning and make sure we have our horoscope and we read what our day is going to be and we depend on the horoscope amen it's witchcraft hallelujah to god and we're calling in some line that they read our palm and look in crystal balls hear me hear me hear me hear me hear me my god we operate by the holy ghost mm -hmm. yes sir yes sir this is a holy ghost thing we operate by the holy if it's not the holy Holy Ghost, my God, from Zion. It's some other ghost. It's witchcraft. It's witchcraft. You better watch it. You better watch it. Hallelujah to God. And some people tell you, come, my God, let me read your palm and, and come and, and let me give you a bath and all this mess. Hallelujah to God. We got to be careful. Spiritual wickedness in, is heightened. Hallelujah. It is at this time, praise in the name of the Lord, that they meet. There's a cult church, remember, in Antigua. And it's when you drive past in the day, or in, you'll never see that place open. But if you drive late night, Night. that's when the men gather hallelujah to god and they carry out their activity yes and the large brothers they gather late amen and they talk about these things and understand that they have some signs bishop i was talking to one of them who was beginning because i wanted to understand how they operate and he said to me he said man of god when i because you respect me highly he said when i sign a document he wear a ring and at the end of the ring that have their sign bishop hear this he said when i sign a document at the end of my signature i use my ring and i imprint it in the paper i just press on the paper when i sign my signature and i said really he said it cannot be seen but when i send that letter and if that letter go to whichever agency or whichever authority or to whom he write it amen he said the first thing if it's a large brother, the first thing that he will do, he take the letter out and he rub his hand over the signature to feel the imprint. And whatever I'm asking for that favor, it's granted because he recognized. <laughs> do you hear what I'm saying? This is how they operate in an underworld. Amen. Glory be to God. And he said, if he need favor and he enter some place and he's not sure, he just scratch his face or do his hair. And so his ring be shown and he'll get a signal. Amen. If it's a lodge and he gone right through. That's why they keep their money within the activity. Well, I, I wanted to understand. I sat with him and said, tell me how, tell me, tell me how y'all operate. My God. And they keep their money within that spending. Yeah, my children of the living God. We got to be careful. Even where we're spending our money and with whom. Hallelujah to God. Some of you know people in church who do business. They say, I'm not doing business with no church people. My God, and you're going to sow your money in the enemy scam. My God from Zion, we're dealing with the watch. We're dealing with the watch. Amen. It is also a time for deliverance to rise and to shine for resurrection. Because remember, the six o'clock prize is coming. The six o'clock where morning is breaking. Amen. So it's also a time for deliverance and for resurrection. This is a time for deliverance. According to Exodus 12 and Exodus 14, I'm running along. This is also a time where Jesus came walking on the water, as we see, and released his disciple. This is also a time for resurrection power. This is the time we have to pray that everything that has died in the body of Christ in terms of potential be shall be released three to six everything that has died potential have died have you seen some brethren who was going on very well in church and all of a sudden they just they're just withering amen their potential has died early we get up and we're praying my god because you're seeing them dying and they're fading away we're praying back that my god that they will be resurrected and their potential come back to life their drive and their zeal come back don't wait until they backslide and said i knew a long time they were backsliding no this is the time when you pray this is the time amen to to arise get up and begin to shine amen arise and shine for the light of Come and the glory has risen upon this is the time when we get up get up get up it is also a time for resurrection of every dormant gift so if you see the gift is is not in operation and the gift is dormant get up and pray my god because this is a time where day is about to to, to come it's it's just the break of day so we get up and as as the sun rise amen so we shall rise amen too every redemptive gift is to rise and shine and that is why immediately after the watch sunrise and shine come immediately after this watch it's sunrise Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord, the Lord uh, would light the candle of the body of Christ and he will enlighten our darkness and the morning star shall be no more dark. This is the time the stone in front of the tomb of Jesus were rolled away. I want you to understand that the prior watches have lined up with scriptures and a lot of time things that happen, if you notice the Bible, it said, and in the fourth watch and in the third watch of the hour, and it's the first watch of the hour, these things happen. Amen. Every reproach must be rolled away. 
at this time. Every reproach must be rolled. Just as the stone of Jesus was rolled away, every reproach must be rolled away. God say he has the covenant with the day and also the covenant with the night. In other words, this is a time for deliverance. Amen. So what are we praying? We are proclaiming our morning during this watch. Amen. We are praying, proclaiming our morning. And we look at astral projection. And if you look at these that we're sharing, this is what it looks like. The astral projection, the out of body experience. Amen. Glory be to God. And so at, at three to six, the witching hour, which we speak about, praise the name of the Lord, that we get up and we seek the Lord. What are we praying? Our prayer praying. It's a time to, for deliverance, to rise and shine, for resurrection. Amen. A time for, it's also a time for resurrection power. And these are our watch during this night. And we'll move on to our fifth watch. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I want to get through them before time. The fifth watch. The morning or the first watch of the day. That is the fifth watch. The fifth watch is the morning watch or the first watch of the day. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The fifth watch. The late morning watch or the first watch of the day. Amen. Uh, six to nine a.m. is the first watch. And we give you some scripture reference. The Holy Spirit came before the third hour. This is the first watch of the day. This is the watch for the beginning of sunrise. Six to nine a.m. What happened during this watch? It's a time for declaration and utterance. This is a time when you command your morning. This is when you command your day. Amen. Glory be to God that your day shall be fruitful. You command your day, whatever you're trusting and believing the Lord for you are command that it will, will, will happen. It will fall in line. Amen. Glory be to God. It's a time of declaration and utterances. Yes. A time of, this is a time when the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. A time for declaration and utterances. The spiritual significance of sunrise, children of God, is having Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, rise over us. And we have some notes here. Instruct the sun that it rises over its people and it shall accurately represent Jesus Christ, the son of righteousness, and bring healing for the soul, for the heart, for the emotions, for the mind, for the body, for family, for relationship, for marriage. Amen. In our land and also in the land and even for our job. Some of you have issues on the job. Get up. Six to nine is when you command it that I'm walking in that place. My God. I know devil from hell. Amen. It's going to have a thought. I'm walking over there and I'm commanding that my morning will be great. I'm commanding that this boss that is putting me under pressure will not give me any trouble today. Amen. Glory be to God. I will have a blessed day. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a time when you command your morning. Amen. Pray that the son of righteousness would rise with healing in his wings. There shall be, amen, healing in your prayer life, health and relationship in the government, etc. This is also a time for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, for equipping service and for your light to shine this day. Mm -hmm. It is between the six o'clock, six and nine that the Holy Ghost came. And so you notice it was after that people said they were drunk. That is why they asked, you know, the question if they were drunk. And Peter said, we are not drunk because it's, in other words, it's only nine o'clock in the morning. We are not drunk as you suppose. What, what is the implication then? That is the time for the equipping of a service. This is why generally speaking, uh, amen, for those who have re regular work schedule, people start work between the hours of six o'clock and nine o'clock. Most time persons who work in the morning, they start work between six and seven to three, eight to this, nine to five. Give So God give the necessary equipment. And as we step out, ask God for the equipment for the day. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day. Amen. So we ask God for, for this day. Praise the name of the Lord. And I, and I spend a lot in the, in, in the fourth watch. So we're running on into the sixth watch. Don't want to keep you. Amen. Late. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we look at this watch. What are we praying for um, in this watch? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are, we are praying that the Lord, amen, will rise upon us as we rise, amen, glory to God, and to, to, to walk and through the day. We are commanding our day to be blessed. We are come whatever it is that you need, you know, from the Lord. And for that day, that is what you are pouring out during this time. Six to nine, you're commanding, you're taking control, you're taking authority of the day, a time for declaration and utterances. So you utter that which you're believing the Lord for. And so we look at the sixth watch, the exit and entrance. When you look at the sixth watch, children of the Lord, this is called the exit and entry watch for the second watch of the day. 
And this is between nine o'clock and 12 noon. For crucified life, a time for forgiveness and healing of relationships. Mm -hmm. Healing of relationships. Notice there's different time that we're praying strategically for different things. This is the second hour of the day. Mm -hmm. This watch begin, amen, as we say, from 9 until 12, and it appears in St. Matthew 20, verse 2 to 3, so that they, um, so that if you're not, if you haven't started the day working by this time, you'll consider <laughs> to be idle. Uh, and just being busy with something doesn't give you the assurance of any accomplishment. There, there is need to, to identify God's purpose for each moment of your life and pursue it. Amen. Glory be to God. And we've seen it. So this is a time then for harvest. A time for harvest, and the text is there. Um, Acts 2 and 41, a time for harvest. Promise, that is the time to expect the manifestation. Whatever promise is, is given, it's a time to expect the manifestation of God promise for your life. And in this case of, of David in, in 2 Samuel um, 7, 25 to 29. Also appropriate, the promise for cleansing, new heart, willingness to work increase and fruitfulness of, as obtained in, in, in Ezekiel 36, 25 to 38. It's a time to pray and appropriate the benefits of the cross for healing, for prosperity, for forgiveness, and for strength. And a lot of time people struggle with that forgiveness. Brethren, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expect the other person to die. That's unforgiveness. Unforgiveness doesn't affect the next person, it affects you. And that is why the Bible didn't say, if you know the brother have, if that brethren have a heart against you, you're aware. Then him say, you must go to the brother. Amen. Leave the gift at the altar and go to him. So we cannot operate from a place with unforgiveness. And when we are operating in unforgiveness, amen, glory be to God, the enemy know. And you're playing bluff because your prayers will not be answered if you lack with unforgiveness. I am in glory be to God. And sometimes we have to go to a person that you know you have them and they know that you're holding grudge against them. Sometimes it, it takes that you have to go to the person and just say to them, I release you. I release you. Amen. Glory be to God. Just release the person and let them know I release you. Amen. Glory be. Don't say, I forgive them. I forgive them. You know, but, and you hold it with it. In you and, and, and you forgive them. Yes, it's almost restoring somebody. And you said, I, I will restore this preacher bishop who have fallen, but I will restore him, you know, but I'll never allow him to preach again. You haven't restored him. <laughs> you, you haven't restored him. Because restoration means going back to the original order. That, that's restoring. So when they, when they talk about an old car and they said, we restore the car, we bring it back so it looks nice and new again. Amen. And that's what it is. What, when we talk about forgiveness, that's what we're looking for. Jesus was crucified at this third hour, according to Mark 15, 25, St. Matthew 27 and 45. After having been on the cross for three hours, darkness came upon the face of the earth at noon. And then at 3 p.m., the period of darkness ended. Mm-hmm. And did you even notice, amen, that even God work according to the watches of the day, especially pertaining to the crucifixion event, the different watch happened at a certain time. And so we prayed for a crucified life because of the crucifixion. Let us ask God to help us manifest all the values of the crucified life, amen, by mortifying the deeds of the flesh. As according to Romans, amen. This is the time to put off the old man and put on Jesus Christ. This is a time to nail witchcraft and bitterness and jealousy and anger, backbiting and gossiping and slander and lying and deception and hypocrisy, amen. And in fact, all properties and personality traits of the devil and all the works of flesh and the cross in line, nail it to the cross at this time. Everything that you're struggling with, this is a time to pray for a crucified life. Mighty God, a crucified life. What is this crucified life? Amen. When Jesus crucified on the cross, he died. He, wasn't, he, he, he didn't just stay on the cross and alive and said, okay, the crucifixion is over. Now take me down. He died. Amen. What is it? We're, we're operating in a bishop. Some of us are too, we, we are too alive, man. Some of us need to be dead and dead to sin. And when we say dead, we're not talking about the physical dead. We're talking die to sin. Have you ever, have you ever seen, uh, 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 gone to a funeral and see somebody dead in the casket? My God, they, 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 they don't care what they're wearing. They're dead. My God, they don't tell you, I don't like this 
suit you put on me. My God, they are dead when we become dead to this world. Amen. Glory be to God. I never understand this text when Paul said we should die daily. Amen. I just saw it as repentance. But then when I look at it and say to die daily, Bishop, imagine I'm dead to the world. Nothing affects me because I'm a dead man walking. Hallelujah to God. My God, it don't matter how you feel about me. My God, and what you say about me. I'm a dead man walking. My God, because I'm dead to this world. Have you seen a dead man get upset? My God, that the preacher preached too long at his funeral. He's dead. And so he cared less. My God, we are operating too much alive. So everything bothers us. Everything, we need to die. My God Almighty, to this flesh. We need to die to our feelings and, and our emotion and how we feel. We need to die to everything upset us. My God, everything get you all mad and work up. But when you die and you're operating, my God, with the mind of God, you said, Lord, my God, they made me not understand. You see it different, the children of the living God. You see it different. I don't think they understand what happened. It's okay. And sometimes you just point it out to them and move on or you say that's okay god bless you we need to die to this world my god from the when we become dead to the world certain things don't bother us no more because we are dead to the world we are dead to a lot of things that happen we are not so occurring with all these happenings amen glory be to god because our mind are so stayed on the lord and to complete the work in which the Lord has us to do. Last point, and I'm going to close. Pray for forgiveness. Pray for forgiveness and give forgiveness to offer forgiveness. Praise the name of the Lord. Healing and relationships. Pray for the release of others. Amen. Pray for the release. Forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. This is the best time to pray, amen, this portion of the model prior, amen, that Jesus taught his disciples. In other words, it's a time to pray for healing of relationships. Let this love of power and unity in one accord produce the same effect of people asking, how come that we all hear them speaking in one language? Pray for the healing of disease. Pray, amen. Pray, children of the living God. Pray for the healing of diseases. And because diseases are spiritual, you know, diseases are not of God. Diseases are spiritual. And, and, and I understand that sometimes the Lord would cause it and the Lord will trust. The Lord would allow the enemy to put it on you. Amen. Glory be to God. There are times that the Lord trusts you like you have trusted Job. Amen. Glory be to God. And this is also the time for harvest. This is the time for prayer prayed at dawn. What is the essence of this prayer? The essence of this prayer is to take off the old man. The essence of this prayer is to take off the old man. So we are releasing people and we are asking that Lord release me. It is the time to take off the old man. And so that we can operate in the fullness that the Lord has called us to operate. We can walk into devil's territory and we can command demon and devil to go. Amen. Because you have asked the Lord for, to forgive you and you have forgiven others. And so you can walk now, amen, in the freedom and newness of life. Hallelujah to God. And you can declare, thus saith the Lord, we don't have to wonder. Mighty God of Zion, we can declare the truth. So this is the time to take off the old man. God bless you tonight. Amen. In Jesus' name. Over to you, Bishop. And God bless you, teacher, presenter. Amen. God bless you tonight. The second installment of the series, Eight Watches, Eight Prayer Watches. What time, you ask a profound question, what time is your watch? Profound question, which should be answered tonight by all those who are on YouTube, Facebook, or, or the Zoom room. What time is your watch? Or what time, amen, are your watches? Because you can pray in different, amen, watches. What time we have got to embrace and answer this question. What time is your watch? And you move us, amen, from the fourth watch, the 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Praise God. Many of us pray that watch. 
But, but now we were further informed that this is the war of fear, the war of fear watch. Amen. No wonder you want to pray, but you want to sleep. Amen. You have to get up and walk around down sometimes. Praise the Lord. The war of your watch, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you also took us through, amen, the fifth watch, the fifth watch. Amen. 6 a.m. to 9, the 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. A time of declarations and utterances, a time of declaration and utterances, praise the Lord. Then you close the tonight's teaching on the sixth watch, the 9 a.m. to 12 noon, praise the Lord. Amen, we wanna thank God for you tonight. We want to now move to receive, amen, feedback from our audience, Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube. It is now your opportunity to ask questions or to see clarifications or just to share your takeaway with us tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. I see we have a, a Galaxy A50. Your hand is up. Galaxy A50. Amen. Go ahead and ask your question or share your takeaway with us tonight. Galaxy A50. Galaxy A50. Amen. Or we want to invite those in the Zoom room to really share with us tonight. If you're on Facebook and, or YouTube, you can also ask a question. They'll be, amen, noted and ask, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Or you may want to just uh, type, amen, praise the Lord. I see where, amen, uh, my wife is saying another powerful teaching. God bless you, Elder Brian. Amen. It's Jessica Stewart Jones from Aleppo. My soul is blessed once again. God bless you, Mr. Brand. Powerful presentation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister Beverly Thompson, the Lord bless you and your family, Elder Brand. Powerful session. Wow. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sister Terry on Lynch. Thank you for breaking this down. Thanks. Thank you for breaking this down. May God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And a question now from, amen, Brother Kelly. Uh, blessing, sir. Blessing, sir. It's from, come from YouTube. I always practice to practice to pray at 5 a.m. Is that okay? <laughs> Brother Kelly says, blessing, sir. I always practice. I like that. To practice to pray at 5 a.m. Is that okay? Amen. That's Brother Kelly. Amen. That's his, he says, you practice to pray at 5 a.m. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Is that okay? So ask if, that, if that's okay. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. That is okay, Brother Kelly. Amen. <laughs> that is the time. Amen. Our Diane Kelly, maybe it's a, it's a lady. Amen. God bless you, uh, okay. Diane Kelly. Praise the Lord. Yes. And that, that, that is all right because, as, as you said, it, it, it's a practice of yours. Praise the name of the Lord that you get up at that time. And, and I think maybe by this time, your body will somewhat set off an alarm. That if you don't get up, you, you're still wide awake by that time to go into prayer. And so that is okay. But I also want you to understand the activity, amen, that happened at this time. But also at the three to six o'clock watch and by 5 a.m. when you get up to pray, you are looking now into the time for deliverance and the rising sunrise and rising resurrection. You're looking at this time also, amen, uh, where you're rising resurrection power. But I... So that, that's a good time to pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. God bless you, sir. Amen. Sister Allison Salmon, a wonderful supporter of our ministry. Blood coverage over you, Dr. Lincoln Brennan, and your family against the backlash of the enemy in Jesus' name. And we agree with that prayer. A blood coverage, my brother. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Mr. Carleen. Amen. My God, praise the Lord. So many comments tonight. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. All right, let me go back to, uh, amen, to see what we have here with a question now. All right, let me go across to Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, Mr. Glenda Andres, Andres. Amen. Come on in, Mr. Glenda, and share with us your takeaway or praise your question. Praise, praise the Lord, sir. Praise the Lord. Can I, tag with Bishop, can I tag with Bishop Brown and Lady Brown and all the saints of BUC 
and to also Dr. Lincoln Bryan, my best Thank friend. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> and I'm so I'm so I'm so happy tonight to listen in with the teaching and because all that you have teach tonight, I've never known I've known some, but my I never God. get the understanding of the full knowledge of these what is. Because sometimes you might pray at a certain time. You might say, okay, I'm going to pray 12 o'clock or I'm going to pray 3 o'clock, not knowing the significance of the time that you pray. So now I get the understanding. I will be more powerful and I will be praying uh, yeah, at the sure. different intervals. Glory. And, and as the, um, the teacher was saying, he have experience. He have sit down, especially with those that serve in the occult. They make their sacrifice. What about us as believers in Christ? What kind of sacrifice are we making? They have their ring to seal them. Are you sealed by the blood of Jesus tonight? Tonight these watches, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it be a role model to me. And what I also learned tonight also about is forgiveness. The teacher said, if you do not forgive, God will not hear your prayers. And many times we know that we have an act against somebody and we are waiting for the person to come to ah, us. Glory. But sometimes I, we have to, I have to take shame out of me because I'm coming to you to ask you for forgiveness. You know why? Because I want to be free. And tonight this lesson is powerful. It is good enough. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. May God bless you all tonight in Jesus' name. God, God bless you, Mr. Glenda. We appreciate yes. you so much. Amen. amen. Pastor Derek Lambert, YouTube. I'm truly blessed with Amen about tonight's teaching. It was blessed. Amen. amen. Brother, Brother Kevin, Amen Mackenzie of Brooklyn, New York. This yeah. is a powerful teaching. God bless you, my brother Kevin. And your family, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Sister Sonia, powerful teaching. Thank God for the Pentecostal teaching. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Really apostolic. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So, Brother Minister Dr. Lincoln, we have get regular so many comments and commendation to God be the glory. Let me just up across to Antigua. Antigua, come on in and and someone representing Antigua tonight. Someone open their mic from Antigua and just share with us. Let's hear your voice from someone in Antigua. Well, praise the Lord. Bless you, Sister Marjorie. Bless you. The of Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. I just want to greet you, Bishop Onoli, leaders online, Minister Brian. And I so see, on, man. you know, we have a wonderful time with him today in our fasting service. Oh, yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus. And so praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Some of the things that he said, praise God, they watch the midnight watch. Praise the name of the Lord. And the three o'clock from three to four. Praise the name of the Lord. I can say that those are time. Praise the name of the Lord is the time when the enemy attacked. Praise God in the 12 o'clock watch when they set up their altar. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And yeah. to attack, praise the name of the Lord, between three and four, as Dr. Brian said, and even five. Praise God. I've, I've been experienced with some of those attacks. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And you know, the Holy Spirit always wake me up. Praise God. At that set time, sometimes when yes. I look at the time, it's always after three. It's always after two. Praise God to pray. Sometimes oh, yeah. you want to speak, but you have to pray. Hallelujah yes. to God. Because of the force that coming in, praising in upon us, praise the name of the Lord. And is you know, we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, Glory. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. And I can assure you that even in this country, there's a lot of evil witchcraft. You know, as uh, Dr. Brian has stated, that we have a cult, cult place in Antigua here. Praise the name of the Lord, the large. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And you know, so you just have to continue to pray for us and decide. Yes. The, 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 
to the Caribbean, you know, because it's not easy. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going through so many battles, so many fighting, so many attacks. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But, you know, we have to keep watching, keep uh, praying. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Han, in hand praying, you know, whenever we type, feel weak, we feel weary, we feel down and discouraged, continue praying. Yes. Because that is the time when the enemy brings sleep on you sometimes, bring weakness, bring discouragement, you know. But we just have to continue. We just have to press our way and continue in this pathway. God bless you. God bless you, Dr. Brian. May the Lord cover you under his blood. Praise I God. Cover your tomorrow. family in the name of yes. Jesus Christ. That is my takeaway tonight. God bless you. And God bless you, Sister Marjorie, which is wonderful indeed. We are really blessed by your participation and for your sharing with us tonight. Dr. Brian, you want to add to what she said, anything you want to add? Amen. Powerful, powerful takeaway, powerful takeaway, um, mommy. God bless you. Uh, mommy Richie is our, is our mother, amen, in Antigua, and so we honor God for her. Um, powerful stuff, as we were talking about, and she made mention uh, to the large and to how they, they operate. I remember in talking to him, and he told me that they have received satanic visitation. Amen. Glory be to God. And that is why they operate uh, like this and they control so much stuff in the earth because of their connection and satanic visitations. Amen. So we have to pray and counter. As mommy said, we can't stop praying, saints. We can't get weak. And to pray. We got to pray. Amen. God Thank bless you. Me. God bless the lady, Richards. Love you so much over there. God bless it. So Carlene, come on in, so Carlene, and share with praise us. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everyone. Oh, good I to have you tonight. Yes. <laughs> in yeah. the mighty name of Jesus. It's been a while since I came off that 21 days of fast. But I greet yes. the Spirit of God that's on the line tonight. I greet you, Bishop Brown. I greet you, Dr. Oh my God, Lincoln. Brian, yes. Brian. yes. We met before, but he's up in Whitechester when years ah. ago. The woman you prophesied on, but it came to pass. But anyway, wow. <laughs> glory to God. My takeaway tonight was from uh, Mark 135, that Jesus found a solitary place. That's a place where, glory to God, a place where you find peace, a, a place where you find, oh, glory to God, a quiet, nice, glory to God. But for me, I don't know. When I'm praying, I like to do every room. Like if I go in my bedroom this morning, I go <laughs> to the bedroom. I just feel like I, I need the, the, the angels and the presence of God to be yes. in each of those rooms. And if the Holy Ghost allow me to anoint even the doorknob, sometimes my husband may think it's a mad woman getting up. But there's <laughs> a time in the morning that you... Warfare. Hallelujah, that war fear. But I realize since I've been off this 21 days of fast and whoever I am praying for, they are getting their breakthrough. Glory to God. You yeah. know, when you have a sincere heart and a heart of forgiveness, he said if you withhold yeah, iniquity in your heart, mighty God. Jesus. Your so you have to come to that altar, that place with God where you're in right standing before you can even go into a physical warfare or a spiritual warfare. You have to be equipped. Hallelujah, like the soldiers on that battlefield. But powerful, profound words tonight. And I hold on to everything I can get here because it makes no sense. I get up early, wake up late to eat and sit the bread of sorrow. You pray my strength right. as I mean well to continue this word and gospel and live a righteous life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Lady Caroline. We appreciate you so much. I mean, a wonderful... Amen, member in the diaspora. Amen, formerly of Bethel in Jamaica, but now overseas. God bless you. We certainly appreciate you and your family. Stay blessed and stay warm and stay safe. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Let me move across to Canada. Will someone from Canada represent the, amen, the country tonight? Amen. We know you have your challenges over there, but we are praying for you. We see the challenges. They're praying for your teachers from Canada. Amen. Come on, Canada. Share with us tonight. I know you're here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Hey, God bless oh, you, God. Sister God. Patricia. Sister Pat. Pat. Yes. Praise the Lord, Minister yes. B. 
<laughs> How are I'm you? Really fat. I'm blessed. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> um, I have a takeaway. Amen. Yes. I have a takeaway. Um, I was, as I was listening, I was wondering about the role of being led by the spirit mm -hmm. in uh, spiritual warfare. And you did address that. You talked about that it is that's why it's important to have the Holy Ghost and mm. to be led that way. And it made me think about the scripture with the sons of Sceva. Yes. Wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and what that is doing for me is to make sure that if I'm entering into any of these kinds of battles, Holy Ghost, that I am led by the spirit to do so. Yes. Um, you know, I, I was wondering if I should share an experience I had because you talked about astral projections mm -hmm. and to try to understand if there's something behind it. So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I remember that was prophesied too, and the prophecy was that um, I can use my mind to make anything happen. Oh. And and that was at the beginning when I just oh got my saved. god, and oh I didn't, god. I didn't under, I didn't understand, and I still don't understand a lot of things. And I remember I was lying on my bed, and I just said to myself, "I bet you I can get out of my body." And I just focused, and my spirit did come out of my body and stand beside the bed, and I could see my my feet. And I said, well, I bet I could turn around and look at the, all of me. And I tried to do that. And it was so hard. I, I couldn't, it was hard to turn around. And I heard in my spirit, are you sure you are ready to see that? And the moment I heard that, I knew it was a warning. So I, I stopped. And I was just, you know, you said that that is not good and it's and it's a it's against the law the lord's wishes or something like that but i i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what mm -hmm. and i've had several other episodes where i said i bet you i can do this so i don't know is that something that i should be worried about that i was able to do that i've put myself to sleep to say i need an encounter because I want to know what's happening in this place. And I did, it did happen. And I did have an encounter. It, uh, it, 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 it baffles me, but it can be, we, we have to be, we have to be so careful. And that is why, as you, um, make, you, you, you clearly say, you know, it's important that we go according to the spirit of the Lord, because we have to also understand that our mind can be suppressed by the enemy. And so mm -hmm. even though we are filled with the Holy Ghost, we can come under serious, heavy satanic uh, suppression that the enemy of our soul will tell us things. Amen. And will, and will pull us into some place that it mess up our spirit mess up our mind and that is why we'll even go to the same thing where uh, i have often time tell people not everybody you have lay hands on your head right right mess with your thought pattern will mess with your mind because because we are talking about spirituality and spirituality it's like energy never die it can transfer from one party to the next and so we have to be so very careful because the enemy will will, will pull your spirit out and mess you up and, and and that is why you see sometimes some people start function some way like they're acting crazy and they're going up because sometimes the enemy of our soul mess with their mind and mess with their thought pattern and so that is why the bible talk about guarding our spirit guard yourself guard your mind guard your, your mind because yes. guard ourselves guard yourself Guard yourself because I know it happened to you as a young Christian just come in, didn't understand. And this is how the enemy does. Your Very mind. Early, they to Attack, your mind. Attack, Attack your mind. Attack your mind. And tell you, yeah. you can do this and you can do that. Your mind, so a yes. lot of people get caught into these things, Bishop, and they, and they said, you can get this from it and you can get money or you can get this. And then they need power and they need this. And, and a lot of people get into it and, they, and then you realize they start operate from a different place and you recognize now. And that is why we got to discern. What is the spirit of the Lord and the Holy Ghost versus they're operating by spirit out of Africa, spirit out of Haiti, operating God. by the spirit, operating Lord. by 
uh, uh, you know, all these different spirits, spirit of the marketplace, spirit of this. We got to be very careful because I've, I've Nic seen necromancy. Operation. Yes, yeah. necromancy. I've seen some yes, operations yes, yes, that yes, we yes. pass for Holy Ghost. Ain't no Holy Ghost in it. Yes, yes, you know, yes. So yes. Got to be careful. Clarify. Um, I do not believe, I did not believe, and I do not believe that um, that experience was demonic. Mm -hmm. um and and there are lots of things that happen in the spirit realm that we don't really understand that i don't understand i'm i'm, I'm right. just sitting there and yeah. that's why i brought it forth because uh, i wanted to understand if it i don't believe it was demonic right i remember even um going down on my floor and i said lord i'm not leaving here mm -hmm. until you bless me until you give me an encounter right and i was there for about six hours and i had the most amazing encounter oh, yeah. oh yes so, yes yes but yes. with yes. that one with the astral projection yes that i'm trying to understand i don't believe it was there's a particular way that the lord is dealing with me mm -hmm. and many things i don't understand so if it, I was just wondering if it was not demonic and I don't believe it was, mm -hmm. is there any plausible explanation for that? And maybe it's just, a, a, I don't understand and I wait to see what happens. Yeah, out about the experience. One, I can't, I, I wish I could give you the exact answer um, for it. And, and, and as we said, you know, we, when you talk about it, it, the mind is very powerful because remember the mind is spiritual too, right? Because you can't see the brain, but not the mind. So as we said, you know, we're not, you know, pinpoint that's yes, it's a demonic attack and everything is a demonic attack. But I uh, wish I could give you the, you know, the explanation to say, this is what's happening and this is what's happening. But what I'm grateful for is that you're able to, in that moment, you know, seek the, have an encounter with the lord and i'm and i'm just i'm really happy that you know the lord would would give you such an encounter amen that would really blow your mind but the mind is very powerful and and, and i'll say you know sometimes we just we just we just be careful you know but i do understand as you said and as you may clarify you know it wasn't a demonic attack it was more of an outer body experience that you have had and i'm certain you know folks have have, have experienced that i have i've had experience where um the lord would, would take me uh, literally would, would take me and hear that which the enemy is saying about the lord i've done that i've shared with my family that the lord literally brought me to somebody's house stand and hear the entire conversation i don't know how the lord has brought me there and i heard everything what they said everything and brought, brought me right back and when I talk to them, everything just like I hear it word for word. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So it's different from out of body is different from astral projection. Yes, astral projection. Astral projection is that is is a spirit that uh it's it's a divination. It's a spirit that operate by demon and and devil, and that's how they they operate. Come from out out of body experience and 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 do their the operation and come oh, back. Okay. Thank you. I misunderstood. Thank you so no much. Worries. Anytime. All right, I'm back. I'm oh, back. Yeah. Back. I got there's a power outage, so I got knocked off. But I'm back now. All right. God bless Sister Pat. Yes. We appreciate you. We're praying for you all over there. We understand, you know, the bereavement. We are praying that God will bless and strengthen you instead, Nelly. Yeah. Jesus' name. All right, let's go across to St. Mary in Jamaica. St. Mary. Amen. Missioner Jessica Stuart Jones, Associate Pastor of Bethel Aleppo. Come on in. And share, Sister Jessica. Praise the Lord, Bishop Brown. Praise the Lord, Bless Elder Brian, and to all on the Bless platform you. tonight. Praise God. I just want to ask a question on behalf of my sister. She's on YouTube, so she's not um, able to type it at this time. So she's saying, okay. let me just read verbatim. She says, great teaching session from Elder Brian. One question, though, that is puzzling me somewhat. If you have prayed for or over a situation or need at the watch or the hour that is not designated, will your request or need be granted or answered? Coming from Sister Sophia. Yeah, because I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily because God is God, you know. Right. God, God is God is God. And, it, and it's not, I mean, it is you know the song, telephone, um, heaven, telephone. 
to his glory and he never always on the line. You can call him at any time. Yeah, you yes. That. You can call Jesus at any time and in any situation. Never busy. Um, yeah, never busy. And, and it not because central you can pray busy. outside. Yeah, central never busy. Not because you, 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 you pray outside of these watch does not necessarily mean that because you pray outside the watch, it's not granted. Um, the watch really just tell you um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way how to position your prayer and what happened during this prayer and what to seek the Lord for within this prayer. And so for some who are believing the Lord for certain things, we are saying these are the time frame that we have seen from scripture that, that, that these were met and these were answered and these are the activity that happened um, by, by the spiritual realm, uh, uh, by demonic rather uh, forces and these are the counter and these are how angels are fighting for you and these are how you have to position yourself that strategically. So this is what the prior watches does. Uh, so it's not necessarily uh, means that your, your your prayer will not be answered. Right, no, no, no. God, yeah, God work no, no. when God God rule in the kingdom of men. He right, do no, no. what he want, when he want, how he want, when we're that is why I think Isaiah or Paul put it together and said, Who can understand the mind of God? To whom does he take counsel? Why for his ways are past finding out? We can't understand him. Job said he's so wide I can't get around him, so high I can't get above him, yet so low I can't get beneath him. Yeah, they asked what man of man is this that even the wind and the Waver baby, it's God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Amen. so, so Jessica, and the answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> Love will answer her, her prayers, whether she pray the first, second, third watch, or fourth watch, you will answer her prayer. Amen. Yes. He, he just got it. He is yes, God. sir. All yes. right. Thank you so much for that. All right. God bless you. So, coming in on YouTube from Missionary Julian Booth. From Bethel Golden Hill. She said, Bless God. This is powerful teaching. Didn't know that there were so many significance or meanings to these various hours of prayer, prayer watches. My God. She's Amen. so blessed. <laughs> God be Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. All right, let me see. Do we have anybody else like to share with us tonight? Uh, I, yeah, can I can, can question okay. in the room bishop my i see my aunt asking a question i was about to, I was about to ask for <laughs> for for for, uh, for for bull bay to come on in <laughs> bull bay to come on in and say something bull bay bless the lord bless the lord bull bay here all right go ahead bull bay <laughs> Saint Andrew. yeah Jamaica. we're asking the question if, if can we change our watches like i i pray three o'clock in the morning so I want to know, can we ch ever change our watch? And, and the like answer the is yeah. feel like to pray, not three, but, but um, five. Can, can, that can be that switch. The same watch, the same watch. Yes. Oh, we stick to the same watch. Yeah, so no, three, three, three to five, five is the same. Five is the same, three to six. So you're within the same watch. And I mean, out of that watch, suppose, okay, suppose. Okay. Outside well, I'm gonna decide I'm gonna play pray 12 noon for this week or can that happen? Like for this week, I said, all right, I'm gonna pray pray 12 noon for all of this week. And then next week I decided, oh, okay, I'm gonna pray 3 a.m. Can that or can I have to stick to one watch? No, no man. Pray because you can pray in, 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 in more than one watch. All of them. Yeah, okay. you can pray in all the watches. <laughs> Amen. The Bible says okay. men ought to pray and not to pray. <laughs> Amen. So if you can pray right throughout all the watch, my yes, God. Yes, how a how prayer watch, <laughs> half of a prayer watch, yes. That's right. <laughs> we have soldiers watching. Yeah, so yeah. John, 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 the watch. John, 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 the watch, man. Anyone, anyone want to join? Anyone? That's it. There you go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Amen. God bless. Let me go back over to, uh, to uh, Antigua. Evangelist Sharina Richards. Come on in, Evangelist Richards. Come on in. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Greetings, everyone. Bless Amen. You. Greetings to your bishop and bless Minister you. Brian and all the saints bless who are you. on. I know Antigua already gave their takeaway, but uh, Minister Brian mentioned that you know, each person may have their specific watch where the Lord would impress upon you to pray a particular time that you would, you know, observe over the time frame. However, as you pointed out, the between the three to six watch and the nine to twelve, 
where you spoke about Jesus when he went through his period of prayer, especially um, re- leading up to the crucifixion, right? And then you talk about the 9 to 12 watch where it's where you die to sin. Now, some persons may say, you know, I don't really pray in the 3 to 6 as I most times feel a leading to pray 3 a.m., 12 a.m. or so forth. Would you say it is a necessity that we try to touch each watch, especially the critical hours of three to six, where if we conquer in the three to six watch, it will set us us in a better position to die to the flesh in the nine to 12, where forgiveness and because what we find with the apostolic church, uh, we tend to be devil chasers, as we would say. So we are quick to rebuke the devil and those kind of things. But then when it comes on to our relationship with each other, mm-hmm. forgiveness and love and so forth, we struggle right. in that area. Yeah. So is it because, could it be that we are not winning the battle in the three to six while we are so defeated in the watch we are in our Christian living of forgiveness and love and the demonstration of a Christian life. It's just my thoughts. You can tell me. Go ahead. Um, good, yes. Very powerful, Sister. Uh, very good. Angeles, Richard, and the way how, yes, and the way how you, you look at yeah. it in this sense, because I, I want to say, and I, would, and I would even recommend, and I understand that the watches start from 6 p.m. until uh, the watch started from 6 p.m. as the first watch. However, it is very much important, as you said, and as I, as I allude to in the, in the text, is that we cannot go into these watches with no hanky-panky stuff. So you cannot go to the watch um, sitting, you're fighting demons and you're fighting devil or you're going in in heavy stuff based on what is happening in your life. And he said, okay, we realize the family's under attack. We need to go in and pray. This is what we need to buy. What I am saying to you, before you do that at three in the night, in the morning when you get up, Go from that nine and and, or from that morning and go into forgiveness first. And as you said, consecrate ourselves before we go into prayer period. We must consecrate ourselves. So as you said, um, rightfully so, we have to consecrate ourselves. One of the um, women of God, I think Sister Pat, touched on the sons of Sceva. You understand? They understand. Jesus, I know, Paula, who are you? And so the enemy will call us bluff. So we have to first go into consecration to all our prayers. Make sure we are consecrated. Make sure we ask for forgiveness. And so we can, when we get to these prayers and get to these warfare, we can war. Because when a demon come upon you, for example, or certain things is happening in your life, is you go into warfare. You got to be ready for battle. You, you can't be putting on shield and putting on sword. No, forgiveness and all of that happen already. So you are suit up and you are ready to for battle whenever the battle presents itself. And I hope I cover that, that answer tonight. Amen. Praise God. Beautiful. God bless you, Sister Vanessa Sherina Richards. Beautiful. Well, Sister Janet Robinson, is she, she wants to ask a question. So Janet, are you there? Unmuted, ask your question. Sister Robinson. Hello, good night. Amen. Yes, go ahead. Bless you. Um, I want to ask this question because it has been happening to me, but I don't really know how to explain it. But um, each time I go to sleep, most of the times I would dream that I'm speaking in tongues. Remember, I'm not still now. Um, I would be speaking in tongues, but it, it's happening in, in my spirit. But when I'm sleeping, while my spirit is traveling, and when I'm about to wake up, I can feel my mouth moving, but mm. it hasn't happened when I'm awake. It just stops. Okay. 
Go ahead, Doc. You're close by. You're close. <laughs> yes, she's going to receive the Holy Ghost yes, any minute yes, now. Yes, any so, minute now, yes. you can receive the Holy Ghost. Even right I'll now, do, you yeah. can burst out speaking in tongues. Yeah, because yeah, your yeah. spirit. Let me tell you something. Sometimes yes, our spirit have already received it, but we're just waiting for the manifestation in our body. Because a lot of time we try to control it with our mind and we try to control and appease it. Your spirit have already re received it. It's waiting yeah, for yeah. you to catch up. Amen. Glory be to God. Any minute now, you can receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you can see okay. yourself already receiving the Holy Ghost, my believe. God, you can yes. get that power now. Because the Bible said, if you believe as the scriptures, yes. out, out of your belly, belly shall flow rivers of living Glory water. Your spirit catch up your body waiting. My God, what you are going to see now and experience is the manifestation of the power of the Lord with a stammering lips and another tongue. My God, yes. you will speak according to what the Lord amen, is saying. And when you're in your sleep and you get up, don't just get up and stop. Get up and start. Rejoice. Get up yes, and worship. Say, Lord, I thank you. Get up and go into worship. And I guarantee you, you get up and go in worship. You're going to start Ask speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. You're going to start okay. feeling the power of God coming upon you. Don't try to control it. Speak what you're hearing in your spirit. My God, go according. Let your mouth talk. Let God talk through you. Because a lot of time we think receiving the Holy Ghost is a painful experience. And we try to control it. Am I saying it right? It's not you. Amen. But the spirit that's making intercession. My God, from that, don't let me start preaching here. Uh -huh. Hallelujah to God. And oh, I'm declaring God. in your life that you will receive the Holy Ghost. My God, we are believing God. And we agree, in Jesus' name. To an end, you will receive the power of the uh, Holy yeah. Ghost in Jesus' we, name. And we speak in agreement yes. tonight out of your belly. Yes. And flow. Thank you very much. It helps me a lot because regularly I'll just wake up and not saying anything or praising God behind it. I'll just get up out of my sleep. So that that now helps me to understand what is really happening. Yes. yes. Go yeah. into worship. Go into worship. All right. Thank you very much. Have a blessed night. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right. No other hand is up. So we. We're closing off now. Praise the Lord. God bless, bless you. Bless the Lord, Bishop. Bless the Lord. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Another hand, another hand from Bull Bay. Just I. Oh, I bless you. That's my Bishop Brown, and I bless you, my <laughs> nephew. Praise the name of the Lord. I really want to ask a question. Yes. Go right ahead. When you, when you pray, oh, can you know that your prayer being answer before you physically see it happen mm -hmm. like yeah. after you finish pray how do you know that it answer before hey. it, it, it it manifests it it really come to pass can hey. you know can you know then yeah. so to speak it's yeah. called faith because I, right, because I know that the word that God said, um, the faith is the substance of things hoped for, hmm. the evidence of things not seen. Yes. But when you get up off any, oh, you know that what 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 you feel, what is the connection that you know that you know faith. that <laughs> my, my, right? My, my my prayer has been answered. Yes. Oh 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 do oh do you know? Oh what you feel? Oh you know. And until you see, until my dear auntie, until you see uh, the manifestation of it in the physical, the tangible thing that you can touch and see and say, my God, I prayed for this and here it is. Until you can see that, what you have to do is believe and you yeah. have to hold it so dear that it's already done. Now, if you pray and you don't believe what you pray that it's already done and already come to pass, then it won't come to pass because no. it's by faith. When you, yeah. when you go in your car and you turn your key, you know that you have gas in the car. You know that you have, you have battery. The battery and so is good. you go with an expectation that the car must start. Yeah. And so then when you pray, you have to continue to walk in that expectation that that which you pray for is coming to pass. Amen. You have to carry it in your spirit. You have to know beyond knowing that God have already do it. And so now you move to a place of thanking God for it because it's already done. You move to a place of rejoicing in it because it's already done. You move to a place of just worshiping because it's already done. When I pray about something, I, I, I declare it's already done. I talk about it already because it's already done because all I am doing now is just waiting for the manifestation. But to see the manifestation is about 10% of it because I've already have 90% carry that it's already done. So when it manifests, 
I'm just saying, Lord, I thank you for that which I've already ah, know you bring to pass. Yes. So you have to carry it in your spirit. Walk in it. I was telling the saints in Antigua, amen, that it's their reaping season and that we have to reap. The Lord is allowing us to reap that which we have sown. I told people that I've been believing the Lord for, for a job and believing him for promotion. And I'm walking in it so much, Bishop, that I keep looking on my phone for the email. I keep waiting on the call. I said, oh, they don't call me yet. I'm waiting. And if, and if you hear one you, you will think that they tell me that they're going to the call Lord me at this time. Amen. Yes, but I am walking in that expectation and I'm looking and I'm waiting for the car and the car come. Praise the Lord. Faith. Amen. Faith. Faith the God. substance so far. Evidence not seen. Praise God. All right, Sister Hemmings. Sir, bless you. There you go. Somebody put it in the, in, the, in the text. God bless you, Sister Patricia. What things soever he desire when you pray, believe that you receive yeah. them and we... You will have them. Uh, Mark chapter 11, 24. Thank you for that, Lady Pat. Amen. That, that was today I was teaching on that very subject today. That very yeah. verse I was teaching today on that very wow. same verse. Wow. In, 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 in fact, I touched that very same verse today of faith in yeah. God. Same verse, Mark eleven twenty four. 24. What a confirmation. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right, God bless you tonight. We thank God for everyone who joined us for another study in the world. And a lovely, amen, participation tonight. Very lively. One, I like it. Praise the Lord. Got the questions out. Out. Answers given. Sharing your takeaways. Amen. God bless you tonight. God bless you again to those in Birmingham. Up late, my God, Sister Johnson. God bless you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. All right. Amen. We want to close up now. Give me one. So next week, sir. Yes. The combination. What's on for next week? Amen. Glory be to God. Next part week. Three, is part the, three of three. Let's, next week is part three of three. I can't believe I'm saying it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be the name of the Lord. It seems it gone by so quick. Praise yeah. God. But next week, we are wrapping it up next week. Next week, we are looking, amen, on the noonday hour. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's another time. And that's another, another prayer watch that I think people just allow to pass by. Like, yeah, it's 12 o'clock. But when I see 12 o'clock, amen, the saints in Antigua, they know, amen, when it's 12 o'clock, we are hot at 12, Bishop, as the sun. Because at yes. that time, we are making our noonday declaration that a thousand shall fall at thy side. Thousand at thy right and body shall not come. Come nigh, hey, but, my uh, God. That is the time when we declare, amen, that the arrow that wasted a noonday, my God, will not penetrate our soul or the walls of our faith. Powerful time. My God, we're excited when we see 12 o'clock. My God, are we are in the noon. So we're going to talk about it. This is the watch that speak about the shaking of foundations and judgment. Amen. A time to change the media landscape. A time for divine guidance and deliverance. Amen. From evil, we talk about the, the secret place of the Most High in this one. And we pray against the destruction that wasted that noon day. Yes. Talk about that one. And in the final watch, amen. So we pray against destruction. And in the final watch, the last watch is the watch as a time to change history. Amen. That's the transformation watch. The fourth watch, they, they are the fourth watch, transformation watch from three to six, amen. And we talk about the, uh, the hour of prayer and covenant and the mighty triumph of glory. We understand what takes place in this watch a time to yes. shape history, amen. Glory be to God, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabast Sabastadai, amen. My God, my God. My God, my God, oh, my glory to God. God. Amen. Don't, do join us next week, you can't miss it, amen. Yes. Powerful, yes. Well, we have, have wet our appetite but eagerly, waiting. And I want to encourage you, brethren, not, not just be a listener, let's be doers. Amen. So, so start praying in these watches. Praise yeah. God. Go back to the YouTube, listen again, listen. Amen. And start praying even half an hour per watch. Even yeah. half an hour per watch as a starter. Amen. We're about to destructure our privilege in stone and to ensure that we have big forces praying right through the watches. Amen. Amen. Around the clock. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Time to pray. Yes. So God bless you. Amen. Tonight we want to thank God for everyone. The UK, the US, Canada, Caribbean, across Africa, Asia. God bless you. And we thank God for you tonight for having joined us. 
Amen. May God bless you. I am a Shreti and the Brown with us that have yes. from yes. Canada. Amen. Lebron, come on in, sir. Are you still there? Lebron, come on in and close us in prayer. Amen. And just close the prayer, Lebron. There you are, another prayer warrior. Yes. Another wa watch. There's a watchman tonight. He's a watchman and watching different watches. Amen. Up. God bless you, sir. Say something and close in prayer, my brother, my friend. God bless you, Bishop. God bless you. Um, and God bless you, my brother and friend, Dr. Amen. Lincoln Bryan. <laughs> Amen. I think Moses said, um, prayer is my favorite. Prayer is the key. Prayer unlocks door. Prayer opens stuff. And, and you know, prayer is one of the greatest weapon in the arsenal. And I yes. think it's one of the most you less use weapon. But uh, I think there's a purpose in COVID and, and because of COVID <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. a lot of persons is leaning to prayer. And, and, and so prayer is the key. Uh, somebody will say, um, no prayer, no power. A little prayer, little power. More prayer, more power. Our Glory to God. Oh, if you sure. want to be a powerful saint, you oh, got sure. to stay on your knee. Somebody said, down on my knees, I found the solution to my question. So it is very good that we are studying the watch. And I sanction and I join with my brother and friend, Dr. Lincoln Brand, concerning these watches. You'll have to send some of that notes over to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I got you. You know I got you. <laughs> if you don't send it over, I'll come over to the house too. Don't worry about yeah. that. <laughs> I'm sure our sister Shana won't stop me. Anyway, let us just close off into prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise and glory as your word declared that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Glory be to God. We thank you, God, for tonight. We thank you, Lord Jesus, hey, for these lessons. Glory. Concerning prayer, glory be to God. Hallelujah. It is your disciples that said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Glory be to God. Certainly, we thank you, God, tonight for the instructions concerning prayer and the various watches of prayer. God, hallelujah. Lord, let us not be hearers oh. of the word, but let us be doers of the word, God, as we listen, my God, instruction concerning prayers in the name of hallelujah. the Lord. Glory. Father God, as we come on this platform glory. tonight, ah, glory be to God. Glory. We thank you for the facilitator. My God, we thank you for Bishop Devon Charles Brown, God, that you are put this in his spirit, God, that he can come forth with such a lesson that we need in this hour and this time for a revival because there is no revival without prayer. And every revival that we see, God, in the book that we have studied, God, it yes. came through a revival. Mama yes. Shatayaba. Ah, God, we are looking for this last day and this revival that is about to break loose, God. We thank you, God, that we have been deemed into this study concerning prayer. I pray, God, that you bless his own soul. My God, remember uh, Sister Janet Brown, Lady Brown, yes, we pray, Lord. God, you cover Yes. under the blood. I pray you cover him under the blood. Cover the children Lord. under the blood. Yes. Cover his ministry under the blood. My Ush God, Tony Hill, the entire Bethel organization. I yes. pray God that you move it to Glory. another level in the name yes. of the Lord Jesus. Yes. My God, remember the teacher tonight. My yes. God, Minister Amen. Lincoln Bryan in the name of the Lord oh, Jesus. God, God, I pray you cover him under your blood right now. The yes. devil is hungry with name such a teaching Jesus. tonight. My God, we know that it's prayer that will destroy the works of the enemy. Mama Shatayama. Ah, God, we pray, God, that you cover him under the blood. Cover his wife under the blood and the two girls under the blood in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let there be no counterattack of the enemy. Call God because of this teaching tonight. We block him. We cancel the assignment of the enemy upon his life right now in the name 
name of the Lord Jesus. We cover him under your blood. We cover his house under the blood. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And we know, God, that such a teaching like this will bring warfare, will bring counter attack of the enemy. But in the name of the Lord Jesus, we cancel it, God. We bind the force of darkness. We come against it in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have given us the authority and the power, God, and we utilize it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we pray, God, that you will open our minds, God. Every listener tonight concerning the different watches, God, you will bring understanding, God, my God, and what the prayer can do and how to pray, when to pray, how to pray, and the different watches, God, that we will utilize it. Father, we thank you tonight. We pray you will bless each and every one, God, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Zoom, send forth your power and your anointing, my God, through this media right now, and bless everyone tonight that is in the hearing and the reaching of my voice. God, bless us tonight. Oh, God, reveal tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. It is your word that say, my God, the secret of you are with them that fear you, God. My God, as we fear you and come into prayer and come in repentance, my my God, and come in consecration. Oh, My God, that you reveal you. the secret things yes. and tear down no, every no, works no, of the no, enemy no. and every hidden agenda no. of the enemy. We come against it and we bind it in the name Thank of the you. Lord Jesus. Oh Thank God, you. cover us under your blood, strengthen us Thank as we ask of this. You. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And we agree Amen. with that prayer tonight. Yes, Jesus. we agree in Jesus. We see Amen. that prayer. Hallelujah. Jesus, open your mind. Oh, shall I? Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Jesus name. Praise the Lord. Name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Feel this earth. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 God bless you. Bless, bless, bless you all. Have a great night. Bless the rest of the week. And we'll see you again on next Wednesday for the closing of the series. Over to our media ministry now as we close us off in the usual manner in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you, Doc. God bless you, Doc. Bless you, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you, Bishop. 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 Bless you, Bishop.